Hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about uh, rising and dipping of lights and this is a topic in coastal navigation as well as chart work. Uh, I will also give you links to the previous videos I've made on the topic of chart work in coastal navigation in the description section below. So when we talk about rising and dipping of lights, our main aim is to find the distance of the ship from a light, which could be a lighthouse at the time it is raised or dipped. So let's get familiar with some kind of uh, terminology that is used in the area of rising and dipping of lights. The first one is the nominal range of a light. The nominal range is the range at which a light may be seen under a meteorological visibility of 10 nautical miles. It is the range of the light as indicated on the chart as well as in the elementary list of lights. Depends on the luminosity of the light. So if you see here, this is an example where the nominal range of a light is shown as 12 nautical miles, which is based on a 10 mile visibility. If we keep going, then we have something called the luminous range. The luminous range is the range at which the light is expected to be visible for a given meteorological visibility, whatever is the prevailing visibility at that point of time. Nominal range, luminous range is found by comparing the nominal range with the prevailing meteorological visibility using the luminous range diagram in the admiralty list of lights. This is showing you how to determine the luminous range using the luminous range diagram. Now, For example, if the nominal range is 12 nautical miles and the meteorological visibility is 20 nautical miles, you go into this chart here to find the luminous range. So you can see the horizontal column is the nominal range in C miles, which is 12 nautical miles. Go below the 12 nautical miles until you reach the curve for the 20 nautical miles meteorological visibility. And as you go across, you find out the luminous range. All right, so the luminous range in this case would be somewhere around 18.5 nautical miles. So that is the visibility at which the light may be seen for a given meteorological visibility of 20 nautical miles in this case. So the light will be seen at about 18.5 nautical miles. The maximum distance a light can be seen at the prevailing visibility is called the luminous range. And in this case, let's say it was 18.5 nautical miles. However, because of the curvature of the Earth's surface, the light of major navigational marks, that is lighthouses or other ships, will be out of sight even though the light may be powerful enough to reach a vessel's sight. So in this case, let's talk about geographical range. So the geographical range depends on the following factors. The geographical range is also known as the extreme range. It is the limiting maximum range the light can be seen due to height of eye and the elevation of the light as dictated by the curvature of the earth. This depends on the following factors of course, the elevation of the light, the height of eye of the observer. So let's do an exercise here where we are determining geographical range. So the exercise is to refer to the elementary list of lights geographical range diagram when your height of eye is about 6 meters and elevation of light is about 14 meters. All right. So if you go into the nautical column here, you can see that uh, in the horizontal column, you have the height of eye in meters and in feet. You go into the meters section, of course, and then you go vertically below the selected height of eye of six meters. And the vertical column is the elevation of the light that is also given in meters and feet. You go into the meters column. So you intersect the 14 meters of elevation of light with six meters of height of eye and you get the geographical range of 12.6 nautical miles as you see in the screen, right? So at this point of time, you can pause it here and have a look carefully so that you get an idea of how to find out the geographical range using the Admiralty List of Lights geographical range diagram. Right. So how do you find is the given light suitable for rising or dipping? 
So let's say given the following nominal range is 12 nautical miles and meteorological visibility is 20 nautical miles. The luminous range will be about 18.5 nautical miles as we determined before and the geographical range using height of I 6 meters and elevation of light 14 meters will be about 12.6 nautical miles. Let's say what does this mean in the following cases to see the light. All right. So I can, I'll try to use the animation here. So you have to consider the actual range at which we should expect to see the light. We have already determined the luminous range which takes into account the luminous intensity and the meteorological visibility. And we have also worked out the geographical range which takes into account the observer's height of I and the elevation of the light. So in the first case here, you must be in this range of geographical range 12.6 nautical miles. So only when the vessel reaches the range of 12.6 nautical miles, it will be able to see the vessel. All right. Secondly, the light must reach the ship at the prevailing meteorological visibility. That is within the luminous range. So it will not be able to see it until to rise or dip the light. The light must be able to be picked at the moment that the ship is at the geographical range of 12.6 nautical miles as well as the luminous range. As you see on your screens. So in the first case, you can see that the ship is at the geographical range, but beyond the luminous range. The light is not visible, but the structure is visible by day. In the second case, when the ship is 15 nautical miles from the light, ship is within the luminous range, but beyond the geographical range. The loom of the light is visible, but not the light itself. In the third case, and you can see the luminous range is changing as well. The ship is 12.6 miles from the light. In this case, ship is within the luminous range as well as the geographical range and hence light is visible in this case. So I hope this was useful for you guys to understand the concept of uh, rising and dipping of lights as well as with the terms of luminous range, geographical range and nominal range. If you have any questions, please write in the comment section to keep these videos short to hold your interest but i look forward to receiving your feedback keep watching and keep learning thank you everybody for subscribing i'll see you soon with my next video